A resew press is easy to use, but challenging to master. The more you use the press, the more you will learn about all of the different settings and techniques that make it truly special. To make your first print, you will need a black and white copy of your artwork. This demonstration is for a one color print. We recommend using color separations so that when it is time to make a two or three or four or more color print, you will be able to output your artwork as a color separation. Step one, scan your artwork. Place your artwork face down on the scanning bed of your printer. The head of your sheet should face left or up, depending on the orientation of the design, and the sheet should be all the way to the left and centered vertically on the flatbed. There are size guides to help you center your page. It isn't vitally important for the artwork to be perfectly centered on a one color print, but it will be when printing two or more colors. Step two, make a master. Next, you will need to tell the printer you are making a one color print. Choose the correct color you are printing from the user interface on your press. For most applications, it doesn't matter if the color you want to print is in the first or second printing position. But every once in a while, it will matter, so it is best to get into the habit of printing one color jobs from the first print position. After you indicate you are making a one color print, the press will ask what you want to do next. Select the option to make a master. You can do this via the user interface or by pressing the Make Master button. If you don't see an option to make a master, your press already knows a master needs to be made. At this stage, you can adjust the scan settings for your print and then press Start to begin making your master. Scan settings are demoed in a different video. The press will scan your artwork, burn the image onto a master, and then print one copy of your artwork. This copy cannot be used to gauge image or print quality. You must print additional copies to check for that. Step three, print your artwork. Once a master has been made, you can begin to print copies of it. We recommend using print speed one and print density one because they are the slowest printing speed and density available. You can also use the print position keys to manually move your artwork up and down and side to side on the printed page. The print keys align to the way you view the print as it comes out of the press, not in the direction it is being scanned. Step four, clean up. When you are done printing, you do not need to remove the ink drum you used, but we ask that you do the following to clean up prior to leaving the lab. Your prints will be wet. Stack them neatly and put them on the drying shelf to dry. We recommend waiting at least 24 hours before using them. Place your original black and white print on top Leave a note with your name, contact email, and when you will be back to pick up the prints. In addition, put away any unused paper in the correct slots on the paper shelf and wipe down the press. If you got ink on the press, we expect you to clean it off. 